Hey guys, I'm RNG Gamer. I play all my games randomly, and apparently I buy all my games randomly too, based off this pile of weirdness I have sitting over here. Anyway, I have seven more pickups for you guys. There's a heavy hitter in here, some obscure and weird stuff. If you like those sort of things, stick around. Let's get into it. And also, if you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell notification, help me out. We're on our way to a thousand subscribers and I'd appreciate anything you guys can do. I have a buddy who lives a few hours away from me and he had uh, an opportunity to pick up like an arcade machine or an arcade board or something and he didn't quite have the money for it so he was trying to sell some stuff in a little group chat we have and he offered this to me and I picked it up. It's hard to see, it's a little dusty. Focus, there we go. There we go, there we go. We did it guys, <laughs> we focused. <laughs> This is the Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time Master Quest bonus disc uh, for the GameCube. Anyway, it's loose as you can see. But it just so happens that years and years and years ago, I was in a pawn shop and I saw what I thought was the, the Master Quest game sitting in a case. And I opened it up and it had like Madden in it or something like that. Anyway, he told me I could just... He had to keep the, the case because he needed something to put Madden in, but I could have the insert and the manual. So I have <laughs> the manual and the cover art for Master Quest, which is pretty cool. I can make a complete copy out of this. I just have to find like a empty GameCube case. I don't have one. I guess I could put it in a DVD case, but I don't know. Is that ethically right? Is that okay to do? <laughs> Let me know. Anyway, I paid like 25 bucks for the, the loose disc and this was free. This next one is a twin stick shooter, I think, that's kind of horror based that I ordered from PlayAsia. It's a Japanese import, but it has English on the disc, I hope. I know it has English, hope it's not a patch. <laughs> but it's supposed to be pretty good. It's called Never Awake. It's kind of like horror looking theme, kind of Tim Burton-esque, I would say. But you can see the back of the game there looks really cool it wasn't too much and they have a bunch of copies of it on play asia actually no i'm a liar i didn't get it on play asia i bought it on amazon japan and the shipping was almost as much as the game <laughs> but it was still like 40 bucks or so this next one is a game from axis which they usually put out pretty good stuff it can be kind of sought after sometimes i had no idea this game came out i think it's a shoot 'em up and it might be based off an anime, but I'm not sure. I'm, I'm sorry, my anime lore and knowledge is not up to snuff, I guess. But this is a mouthful. It's Miss Kobayashi's Dragon Maid burst forth with two exclamation points. Chronogon Breath. Whew. There we go. There it is. Cute anime girls and bullets flying at you. What isn't there to like, right? <laughs> Now, I, just, I just picked this up straight off of Amazon for about $40 or so. This one passed me by too. I had no idea this came out. It's a, it's a roguelite deck builder. I think it's kind of in the vein maybe of Slay the Spire. I hope. I love Slay the Spire. This is even close to that. It'll be worthwhile. Um, but I think it has like RPG elements. One again, once again, cute anime girls. I don't know. Maybe there's a theme here I wasn't planning on. <laughs> but this one's called Super Bullet Break. And I had to buy this. It was sold out on Amazon. I think I bought it on eBay. It was about 30 bucks. But you can see the back of it here. Pretty cool looking game. I hope it's fun. I, I love like deck builders. I play a lot of deck builders with my wife, like physical board games, like Dominion. And uh, and so this this looks kind of cool. I love, I love card games, especially video games. This next one's on the GameCube. I've wanted this game for a long time. I see it loose, loose, but never complete. And my buddy that sold me uh, the Master Quest disc also sold me this for $25. And it's Odama. 
It's in a big box. And if you've never seen this game, <laughs> maybe some of you out there haven't. It is a RPG battle pinball game, as I recall. And uh, you have a microphone and you like clip it to your lapels or your, your collar. And you play pinball and you have troops and you give them commands via the microphone, which is kind of cool. And this is complete. It's got the microphone and the game and uh, the little clip to attach it to your, your neck. <laughs> so this would be really cool. Kind of hard. Never seen it in the box. I'm surprised my buddy wanted to get rid of it. It's got a little bit of damage on the top, but that, that's totally fine. I'm just happy to have it cool game this next one's the main event it's what you're here for it's what i spent like all my money on and the 90s off of the success and his academy award win for dances with wolves kevin costner decided to make the most expensive movie that had ever been made up to that point and it was this terrible futuristic movie called water world <laughs> so bad Although I kind of like it secretly. I watched it and rented it a bunch of times, but I, I think it's objectively a pretty bad movie. Anyway, like most big budget movies, there are a bunch of video game tie-ins to it on pretty much every system out there. With one extremely notorious one on the Nintendo Virtual Boy. It's one of the rarest games on the Virtual Boy. Probably the second most expensive ride under Jack Bros, which is like, that's a wallet buster and a half. But happy to have this one. Got it from the same guy that sold me Odama and Master Quest. And it's complete in box. It's Waterworld on the Nintendo Virtual Boy. Pretty cool. Manual cart, everything. Excited to have this. I've never played it. I guess now that I have this with the other Virtual Boy games I have, like, I mean... Do I go for like a full set? Do I try to get every Virtual Boy game? Like I think I'm, I think there's 17, 18 games, something like that. I think I have about like half of them. I don't know. With this guy, like that, that knocks a big, a big one off. I mean, do I go for it? Let me know what you think. I know I have to get like Nestor's Funky Bowling or whatever. That's kind of expensive. I have to get Jack Bros, but that's really expensive. Uh, I don't know. I'm so already invested. It's like this sunk cost fallacy. <laughs> like, I feel like I have so much money into it, I have to keep going. Anyway, this bad boy, I paid like 260 bucks for it. I was, that's a lot for a really bad game. I think this is considered like one of the worst games of all time. And maybe like the worst one on Virtual Boy. <laughs> I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll play it eventually. It'll go into the backlog. This last one's not really a game. It's, it's game adjacent. Uh, so on the PC Engine and the TurboGrafx-16 and the Turbo Duo and all that stuff, instead of like putting out new consoles, uh, NEC decided to just do like these RAM card upgrades. And if you ever look at the edge of like PC Engine games, they'll have like these labels and they'll say like Super CD or like Arcade or CD-ROM 2 or whatever. That tells you which expansion card you need to play those games and if you have a pc engine duo r like i have right up there it has all of them built in except for the arcade expansion so i just recently picked up an arcade game for the pc engine i don't have any way to play it without the expansion card so i got the expansion card and there's what it is from japan I ordered it and had it shipped. It took forever to get here. I'll let you see what it looks like. It just looks like a normal Hue card. It's heavy. It's really heavy. There it is. Anyway, you pop this in, it probably bumps you up to like 614K of RAM or something. <laughs> like, like a little, little bit a bit more. But you can play Sapphire. To play Sapphire, you have to have this. So this will let me play Sapphire. You can just see that pick up in another video of mine. Well, guys, there's seven more pickups. Quick video, these are usually a lot longer. This is like, the brevity of it's refreshing. And I'm sorry if you can hear that humming in the background. I think like the, the washing machine or the dryer is going right above me and the heater is on, it's like freezing. <laughs> so I apologize for that. But if I can put up with it, you can put up with it. Hopefully you can hear me okay. Once again, I'm RNG Gamer. Thanks for all the support. New videos every Saturday. 
trying to grow this channel. I'd love to get up to a thousand subscribers. And I appreciate all the support, guys. I'll catch you next time.